Welcome to Morrigan's Cottage. Morrigan's Cottage is a 200 year old cottage set in Ireland's beautiful and wild west, sitting on just about four acres of land. The land is overgrown and the cottage has started to deteriorate after being left vacant for a number of years. But my name's Ashling, this is my dog Morrigan and my cat Bonya. Together we're going to bring this cottage and land back to its former glory. Follow us along through the surprises, the headaches and successes in bringing back the character to this lovely old home and in turning the land into a biodiverse cottage garden and home rescue to animals in the future. Damp, whether it's just damp that's been there a while. Uh, here's some shotgun cartridges. Very cool. Before we go any further into the video, I feel like it's time for a grant update. Here you go, a little peek. It looks like it. So I think the mall, like the wall is moldy. Should know that they didn't cover up any walls for aesthetic reasons. They covered them up for like problems. So let me get a little hole and then that little hole turned into a bigger hole and that bigger hole turned into a little hole. Morgan, wait! We're waiting for this little puppa. Come on, Murray. Who's this? Who's this, Murray? It's Rosie. Morgan, get back over. What's that? Go sniff over there. Who's it? Come on, Rosie. Come on. Come here. Oh, what's that Hi. like? <laughs> she was. Hello and welcome back to Morgan's Cottage. Today is um, September 14th. I'll put the date here so you know exactly what day it is. Me and Morgan are here. We got here quite late. Uh, it's about half two at the moment. Weather forecast was brilliant. Uh, it was supposed to be about 18, 19 degrees, sun shining. And let me tell you, it is absolutely miserable it's so gross outside um so our plans to start digging out the french drains um so basically i can't remember if i said in the last video but just to catch you up guy came out took a look at the land we identified that there were drains at some point in the land but they are now overgrown and they're like clogged up so while I wait for the grant, I thought, well, why don't I try unclog them and cut them back? So that was kind of the plan for today. Um, but unfortunately, it is so miserable outside. I'll put a clip in so you can see how gross it is. Um, but we just got here. It's a little bit later. Um, so I don't really know what we're going to do. I almost feel like maybe we shouldn't have come based on the weather because I don't have any major plans for the inside. We could potentially um, take more plaster down in this room here, which is if we do anything, that's probably what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, the plan was in the brain to go outside and work on the outside stuff. Um, but alas, here we are. But anyway, we're back at Morrigan's cottage. Um, before we go any further into the video, I feel like it's time for a grant update. And as always, there's no update. Um, so I've been talking to a bunch of people um, that are in my county. And it sounds like the county that I'm in is very slow. Um, the neighbor up the road said that he got his approval nice and fast. Um, but anyone else that I've talked to, it has not been a quick process. Um, I was talking to someone and they applied the end of January and they had their inspection last week. So I applied the end of May. So when's my inspection going to be? Um, so anyway, I haven't heard a peep. I'm going to email them Monday or Tuesday and just ask if they have like a rough timeline or a rough idea that maybe they'll be able to come and look. Because at least then if I know, like I know, if it's not going to be for another two months, at least I know. So I'm not like waiting. But anyway. Positive vibes only. I've kind of, it's just, it is what it is. At this point, we're back into the wet weather. We've missed the warm, dry season to get the heating done. So it is what it is. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, anyone that lives in Ireland, 
I don't think it's cold in the UK yet, but if you're in Ireland, the colder weather has come. Uh, the heating has been put on in my house in Dublin a few times at this point. Um, but that does mean, unfortunately, the mice have moved back into this house. Um, so, yeah, we got to sort that out because we don't want to get overrun with mice. Now, they're just little field mice, but we still do not want the mice to... Oh, my goodness. Okay, honey. Relax. I'll play with your toy. She's hyped on sugar. I'll take a photo. Uh, we went to see my friend and we got like, there's this really nice cafe that lets dogs in and we got like a really nice little coffee and a treat for all of us. Morgan had a pup cup and she's hyped. She's just full of beans. I'm cooking her chicken at the moment as well. It's really good for you. Oh, what is this? Okay, princess, are you gonna give it a little lick? What's this? Nice. And a little biscuit on top. <laughs> oh, but anyway, welcome back. Uh, I don't know if this will go up because I don't know if I'll have a video to put up for you. So maybe it will, maybe it won't. Look at that good girl. Now, just to give you an idea of what it looks like outside, I think it's still raining. Oh, do I lock the door? Oh yeah, it's still raining. So we don't want to be going out there. So what I'm going to do is show you in here. Now, whilst I was making the dog's chicken. Now you stay there, sweetie. Don't come any closer. Stay. So obviously last week we worked on getting this door open. There's still a piece of wood up here that I have to take down so that the door will actually open. Um, so we'll get that done while we're here. But while I was making the chicken for the dog, I decided to go ahead and uh, just have a peek, just the tiniest little peek at what potentially is behind this wall. So here you go, a little peek. It looks like it's pink paint. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take down a section and just see what's behind there. So just to keep you updated with kind of the new plan. It's not really a new plan, but just the plan for the house. Um, obviously, we're waiting for grant approval. That's not here yet. Um, when grant approval comes through, we're going to get the heating, the plumbing, the electrics done. Um, we are going to get the gutters done. And then potentially maybe the roof, but maybe not the roof. It just depends on how much we get quoted for for that and how much money I have. Hopefully I'll have the full 50 to spend, but we'll just we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to wait and see what the house tells us to do basically is the plan um but what is going to happen with the walls ideally it would have been so nice to keep some parts of the house with the old stone wall I think that would have looked really really nice but as we uncover more walls they're just not in the best condition um so we're gonna have like a slight switch of plan now this is the main bedroom this is the big bedroom this is going to be my bedroom the plan always was for this room, and I'll turn the camera around so I can explain it properly. So we're in the main bedroom. The plan for this room, obviously this bed is going to be gone. This came with the house. Stay there. No, no. Can you come over here? Good girl. I don't want you over near the dust, my love. So when you come into the room, door's here. There's going to be a bed that comes out here. If we can, we'll fit two little side tables there. It's going to be quite a basic room. Big bed, some side tables. Perfect. Then this wall here... The plan was I was going to build, or at least I was going to either attempt to build or pay someone to build me a fake kind of fireplace that would go roughly here and then have maybe built-in presses here and built-in presses here. And then we'd have like a TV here, fake fireplace here with like a fake fire stove in it that's electric that can plug in. That was the plan for this room. And that was going to be it. Now, what I'm thinking is, well, that's still the plan, um, but the kind of newer plan is that, I mean, I wasn't going to be taking down any of the plaster, but all this plaster is going to come down because it's not insulated. So the whole room needs to be insulated. And then I want to get cozy plaster, I think it's called, or something like that. 
and it's basically plasterboard that has insulation in it so that like the heat will bounce back off the walls rather than escaping through them so we'll have insulation in behind them and then we'll have the cozy plasterboard and then that will make this room lovely and cozy um and obviously new heating system um so that was the plan for this room and then the room through that doorway there was going to be the spare bedroom so this doorway was never going to be opened up however change your plan this is going to stay the main bedroom through that room is going to be the office so what was going to be the spare room is now actually going to be my office so what I want to do is have this room connected to the office through this door so that I can just go through to the office if I want to. It's going to be an office slash gaming room, kind of informal living room. And then it means that at night I can just go literally through this doorway here and out through the other doorway to the bathroom. And it means I don't have to walk out that one, walk through the kitchen, down the hallway and into the bathroom. Probably saves me five seconds, but still. So that's the plan. The plan was to build a fireplace, like a fake fireplace here. But now if I take you back over here, what I'm thinking is we're going to take down this plasterboard because it has to come down anyway, because we're going to put the cozy plasterboard in. I'm going to see if there's still a little old fireplace here. And if there is, I'm going to see what condition it's in. So if it's in OK condition, we might use that. Now, there's no chimney, so it's never going to be a real fireplace. But we're going to have, if you can imagine, like maybe a little fireplace here. We'll see then put like a nice kind of mantle around it tv up here um and then have built in here and then that doorway will be open there so that's kind of the thoughts now what i would love to do and maybe it's impossible but what i would love to do is fake plasterboard this back up but have it so that like if you you know like you can push on drawers and they pop open like maybe you could just like have it painted so it looks like it fits in as part of the wall and then just push it so that it pops open like the plasterboard will open like a door and then I can walk through to the what will be the office and then the bathroom across from the office so that's kind of the thoughts there is that if we could hide this doorway so it's not looking like a doorway that would make the the vibe of the room better so anyway that's kind of the thought process behind it um, so what I need to do is take a little bit of plasterboard down here and just see what's behind the plasterboard. So before anyone gives out to me in the comments, it has to come down anyway. All of the plasterboard throughout the house is coming down because there's no insulation behind it. So we need to insulate the rooms and we also need to put up new plasterboard, some cozy plasterboard. We also need to put some kind of like damp proofing down um, because the walls are damp and there's no damp proofing and obviously there's no insulation and we don't have the cozy plaster so we're gonna put the cozy plaster down so that's the plan before anyone gets in the comments and starts giving out to me that i shouldn't be taking the walls down just let me go with my plan maybe it might not be what you want to do but this is what i'm doing we're about what little bad secrets we're gonna find.
So I think the mall, like the wall is moldy, which obviously not ideal. Maybe I should put my mask on. <laughs> is it too late? <laughs> is it too late for me to wear this? So at this point, I should know that they didn't cover up any walls for aesthetic reasons. They covered them up for like problems. So let me show you. So what are we thinking? <laughs> How do we feel? There's some cracks that seem to go the whole way up. Like mold literally everywhere. Um, yeah. How do we, how do we feel? Um, I don't know what to think. So that's great. So I stopped recording for a little bit um, because I wanted to send a couple of pictures to Joe to see if he had any thoughts on what's going on with that wall. Um, because there's obviously cracks in it, mold. It looks like maybe it's wet. The wall feels damp. Um, so hopefully it means that nothing in the attic is problematic and nothing up there is leaking and that the roof isn't leaking. Now it's miserable outside. So I feel like, like the wall is damp. Sorry, let me correct myself. The wall is damp. It's not actually wet, but it's damp. So I figure it would be wet if like rain was getting in, I think. I don't know. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, so I stopped filming probably about 20, 25 minutes ago. Cause I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do. So I sent pictures to my mom and I sent pictures to Joe, the engineer, just to like get an idea of what we're looking at. Now I am waiting for Joe to get back to me. Um, he may not get back to me today cause there's never any rush um, on my end. And I know he's busy with lots of projects, but um, I wanted to try figure out if the cracks were potentially in the concrete that they've put over the stone wall or if it's, the actual walls that are cracked. So anyway, I'll show you what I did. I went to a non-cracked part and just did a little hole. And then that little hole turned into a bigger hole and that bigger hole turned into an even bigger hole, but let me show you. So obviously, look, you can see the crack. Oh, that's my finger, but you can see the crack goes down, 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 down. And all along that crack is quite damp. Um, so I moved over to this side where there was no cracks. And I just started taking the concrete off just to see, like, was the stone wall still there? And obviously, yes, the stone wall is still there, um, which is great to see. But I'm not going to take any more off for now. What I'd like to do is finish taking off more of the plasterboard over there. And then, um, like, I presume this is all black mold. Um, which is horrific because had I not uncovered this, that would still be there. Now, I don't know if you need to be able to see black mold for it to be like a problem or if black mold is a problem regardless of if you see it or not. But obviously, if we were going to be staying down here soon, that's problematic. Um, 
and also we'll need to get to the bottom of what's causing the damp whether it's just damp that's been there a long time if it's damp that's sticking around um yeah we'll need to get to the bottom of that but I mean look it's not the worst thing in the world to find ideally what I'd like to do is chip this concrete off presuming that these cracks are just in the concrete and not in the um stone wall behind it but I just I don't know I don't know enough I'd be a bit nervous so I'm gonna wait and see if anyone has any advice for me um if Joe gets to see this before I go home it is getting late it is coming up on quarter to six um I made tea hours ago and I haven't drank it so that's cold but we're gonna leave it for now um I feel like maybe we've done enough damage for right now but I think it looks worse or at least I'm hoping it looks worse than it actually is like my hope is that it's just the concrete that's like this and when we strip back the concrete the wall behind will be quite solid and the old fireplace will be quite solid like that would be the hope the wish the prayer and the dream uh whether that's the case I don't know we won't know until we open it up but having a little look at this little section here at least the stone from the small amount that I've kind of cleared up you can see it and it looks okay um but yeah I don't know what to tell you other than that so not like the worst finding is in the world but also not really the best um overall the concrete layer that's been on the rest of the house has been okay except for the patches that are obviously like really not good um but the rest seems to be okay but I think if I could go back to whenever it was that um former Ashling started to take down the concrete or the plaster in the room in there we like it's just funny the spot that we picked to take down the plaster and the concrete at the very very beginning is the only good spot and probably the best spot in the house had we found like e these kind of problems at that first little spot when I started all this maybe I wouldn't maybe I wouldn't have done it like if we had started taking down the plaster in here and I found this probably would have stopped probably wouldn't have gone any further um but like I said the plaster has to come down and ideally like with the grant you've 13 months from the day you get your approval you have 13 months to get the work started so um everything has to happen quite quickly so the more plaster that I have down the easier it is to get the heating people in the plumbing people in they can all do their piping they can do their electrics they can do everything like that and then at least like they're ready to just go rather than me tipping away at this not ready for them to get here so anyway that's kind of that's the thoughts for right now but yeah look at all this black mold I've been sitting in this room when we're not working like if we're having something to eat and I don't feel like sitting at the table we sit on this old ass bed over here and we eat my tea is barely warm but it's warm enough do you want to go out the back it's still raining I'm so sorry I'm so sorry my little baby but I'll bring you out let's get mommy's jumper on So it is still very gently raining, not the worst rain in the world, but it is still raining. You can probably see it's just gloomy, wet, everything you would expect living in Ireland, actually. Oh, our little cow friends are here. I do feel so sorry. Anyone who has animals, cows, horses, mostly cows but anything any animals like farm animals do they get sad being outside in the rain like to me it's so sad that they're out in the rain i'm going to turn around so you can see my beautiful little cows again i'm so glad they haven't been moved but like it makes me so sad that they're out in the rain should they not have a home should they not have shelter i feel they should have like a stables or something to get into when it's miserable like this can someone about cows or anyone who knows anything about cows let me know like what do you think should they be should they be in a stable or am i like an idiot <laughs> probably an idiot because i actually don't know but anyway i'll go say hi to my cow friends do you see the cows do you want to do a little pee or a little poop honey while we're out 
So as you can see, everything's wet. Now I think mice are getting in down here. So this needs to be fixed. Um, we were sitting in this room the other day and I heard a scratching in the wall, so. Oh, good girl, American. American doesn't like wet. So it can be hard to get her to go out and about when it's raining. But let's go say hi to the little cowsies. Now they seem absolutely fine and completely unaffected by the rain. But in my mind, But obviously, again, not a farmer. Since we're here and it's, oh, I really like that green and that purple together. Fashion. Um, but since we're outside and it's miserable and raining, let me just show you, I don't know if I've ever talked about this before. I probably have, um, but my house is at the very end of a hill. So that means everyone's water runs down to my house. How rude of them. They don't even give me any money. But um, I thought I'd show you, because obviously we live on a slant, we live on a hill, and the inside of the house is lower than the outside of the house, which I don't know if that's good or not. I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, I thought I'd show you how the natural sort of flow of water works here, because it's good to know. Um, so let me show you. So this is obviously the side gate. And then basically, the water obviously drains down from up there and it seems to drain down on this side which is great now a little bit does drain down kind of along here like you can see it's kind of gathered here which isn't ideal but at least it's not going into the house um, and then obviously even worse is the fact that my gutter just drains right into the foundation of my house but anyway so anyway comes down along here. Oh, Morgan, see the cow now. So it's our little cow friends. But drains along here, and then it comes right down along here. They don't seem to mind us at all. Oh, maybe they do. Hi, honeys. No, Morgan, don't go in there. Morgan, leave the cows alone. Good girl. Thank you. So anyway, water drains all down along here. Now, one small problem is that it does kind of gather in there a little bit. So you can see this kind of slopes down in. So overrun from over there, because it goes up a little bit on the road, comes down into the garden. So that will have to be fixed. Um, but anyway, bring you down and along. So obviously this water can't stay here. But this is all puddling around here. And I think it's because literally this is just a small section of road that goes up a little bit. Which is so strange because actually we go down a hill. But um, you can see the water is just slowly making its way down. And then going into that puddle and then that puddle and then in there. Which is not where I want it because that's my driveway but anyway um on the other side of these trees is the pond so naturally ideally the water would go in there now I'm not sure where this water is kind of puddling from there is like drainage along here and that's like full I'm not sure if you can see but that's full um but yeah obviously the drainage on this section of the road is not good so we will have to, at least on my side, address that and fix. There should be like a ditch all along here. So that's something I'll need to clear out. Um, but then once we get like a little bit past here, the road dries up. Morrigan? Oh, there you are. So yeah, you can just see this section is quite problematic. So that will need to be fixed up. And then the idea is I'll get all of this dug out, I suppose, so that the water can drain from um, the fields. 
And then if we come down, if we can get all this clear because this is all water now. Get rid of the overgrowth. Fix it up. Um, but then the problem is we get down to the bottom of the land and it's like, well, where do we put it? Because this is where we kind of end. There's a lot of water in there. So this is the neighbor's property. And then down the very end of this road is a stream. So anyway, not sure really where it goes, but we'll figure it out. Um, but I love that there's just little blackberries all over the place. I'd love to pick some, but I obviously don't want to fall into the ditch. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyway, that's a little walk down the the land. So there is at least some drainage, but not a lot. Morgan is a country dog now. <laughs> Do you want some dinner? Do you want to go eat your chicken? Oh, she wants to have the cow. Don't worry, she doesn't eat cow. Neither of us eat cow. You're safe. Come on. We don't want to be mean to them. Our first cherry tomato. Uh, oh, it smells. It smells so good. Um, but I'm going to rinse it and I'm going to taste it and we're going to see. See what it tastes like. Let's give it a taste and see. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm not a huge tomato fan, to be honest with you. I just love growing them because they're they're not easy to grow, but they're not hard to grow. I feel like tomatoes can be quite um, needy, but oh my God, so good, so sweet. Mm. It's a pity I didn't grow more, but if we get one tomato, one teeny tiny little tomato, I will count that as a win. Um, let me bring you back over. The reason I was looking at it, I'm about to water the plants. Um, and I think I'm gonna close this now. Uh, it's getting cold in the house again and I just think it would benefit from being closed. Now this is a big guy. I'm looking forward to seeing if that, you know, continues to grow. Um, but yeah, there's lots of little ones. So if these could all these ones in the back are ripe, so I might pick those before we go. Um, but nice to see that something grew. And we got the potatoes as well. These are obviously all crispy and dead. I just kind of stopped watering them when they weren't going anywhere. Um, I must throw them away. But yeah, this tomato, I'm interested to see how this one ends up growing. Because it's the biggest I've seen. Um... But yeah, so we had a little bit of success, but I'm just gonna water them. Oh look, one one obviously fell off. And shriveled up and died. Thank god no mice came and ate it. Give this lots of water. Unfortunately we only water it once a week because we're only down once a week. Um, so it just means that they get quite dry. I usually leave a little bit of water in the bottom just so that it has something to kind of suck on. So before we leave anyway, um, we'll put some water in the bottom so that it can feed itself during the week. But we will be closing this because it is getting cold, unfortunately. But anyway.